What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is the day before New Year's and I wanted to get into the tent and give you a quick update. I know I'm a few days late from what I told you that I would be giving you an update on, but here is what's going on. We have one little scraggler right there. That's looking good. Oh, this beautiful lettuce. I love it. Let's look at this root system. Look at that. I love seeing that beautiful clean root system. You always have to move these to the side before you put that down. Every time you lift these up, the lettuce here falls on the side here and if you're putting it down, you're going to be cutting that lettuce off. These are looking fantastic. This is going to be nice and crispy and beautiful. I could already tell. But it's interesting. There is there is definitely a mixed variety of lettuce here because this guy, and I actually really like this one the best. Wow. I didn't even realize how big the the, uh, the leaves were on, on some of these because they're just all over the place. So interesting. I'm definitely going to be buying some fresh seeds. Look at this one. This is actually from one of the pellet um, pellet seeds. This is a butter lettuce. Uh, these are more of a romaine lettuce type. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the look how big that is. That is just so tasty, so clean. I am in love with these. I think right now, when it's in this stage, it's definitely the time to start thinking about what to put down there. Um, definitely thinking about a, a fresh batch of seeds and let me tell you seeds definitely do have a shelf life and that's very important for you to know because um, they definitely could last probably for up to a year but they definitely it feels like they, they either they just dry out or die out or just lose their potency in the sense of when you are germinating the shell itself just does not open up and there's no life inside so make sure you remember that um, if you're new to the channel or if you're uh, uh, you know, a frequent visitor to the videos. My name is Michael. I'm an indoor hydroponic grower. I primarily grow lettuce. It's one of the main ingredients of my life that I consume frequently. I wish I could grow other things, but it's basically, it's really hard. If you actually watch some of my back videos, you'll see that I've tried broccoli. I've tried carrots and a couple other things for indoor grows, for especially at home indoor grow, it's a little more difficult because some things require pollination. I've even tried, uh, did I try watermelon? I did. I even, no I didn't. I did not try watermelon. Um, did I? I can't recall. But I definitely tried a few things that were fairly hard to do. But lettuce is something that can easily be done by anybody and all of you guys out there all around the world can easily set something like this up, some, a reservoir with tubing, with a pump, and lighting. Artificial lighting, that's all that's required to maintain an indoor grow just like this. And all my links are right down below. So if you ever wanted to, you know, think about the pricing costs of, you know, what things cost to maintain a grow like this, everything from what you see here and some of the nutrients that we use and everything like that, hit the links down below. Um, it's 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 a basically a simple guide to exactly what you need to maintain a grow like me. Also, do me a favor, okay? Hit the subscribe button right down below there, and also hit the bell. All that does is give you notifications through email every single time I upload a video, and I definitely want you to get those notifications so we stay connected. So yeah, this is what I got going on now. I'm really excited for the uh, you know for the new year. 2019 starts tomorrow. So I'm all, you know, I'm always scrambling, like, what can I do? You know, this channel was at, at a certain point where I was all about testing different things. I had multiple tents, and you never know. I, I might be changing my operation from, you know, currently we're in my dining room. Um, this enormous tent is literally my dining room that we don't use, but I might be taking the, the whole thing into the basement at one, at one point or another. I've been saying that probably for about two years now. It's just a little colder down there, and these things will have a, a more difficult time of thriving down there. You know, looks pretty good in here. Nice little grow system. Roots are looking pretty. Let's see if I can get a... There we go. Nice focus shot. Oh, we got a cat visitor. This is what I'm talking about, what's important. You got to move these right before you're putting that down because you don't want to cut 
those um, those pieces of lettuce off and it also creates a mess. But as I was saying, we're going into 2019. I'm super stoked. I'm also stoked just to, I wish there was a, I, not that I wish, I, I guess I just need to go get it. Uh, there's a large variety of different types of lettuces and that's what I really like to focus on. Earlier in 2018, it's just a recap, I, you know, I tried to grow outdoors and it didn't really work well. In a sense of, I, I don't really like the fact that there's all sorts of spiders and bugs crawling all throughout the the actual growth setup. I mean, it's kind of nasty, even though that's exactly how how it's done on a regular you know basis. But they spray for things like that. In here, I don't have anything like that. Look how clean and pretty it is. There's no dirt. There's no dirt. It's just water. It is water seeds. A growing medium which is called rock wool and you could find that down below a reservoir and you might even get yourself a cat that just likes to tan inside the bed Fernie <laughs> he's so silly look at those eyes isn't he so beautiful love him so yeah I don't know what he's doing down there but hey let him be um so yeah this is what I got going on and, you know, just where I left off real quick, um, the cleanliness of, of an indoor grow is just significantly different than an outdoor grow. And you could, you could actually literally have more grow inside in a smaller space than you can have outside. Yeah, I, I wanted to have an outdoor grow so bad, and I probably will again in the next several months. I will try again as, you know, spring comes about in the next three to four months. Um, but that's probably going to be some tomatoes, some peppers, maybe something else. Dealing with the whole dirt situation of trying to put dirt into the grow bed and just honestly going out there when it's like muggy and whatever and just like looking at the fruits of these trees and just touching them and just seeing all the spiders and and webs and whatever else gets all around that area it just deterred me from trying to even try it again but I mean I'm gonna do it just because it's pretty simple but don't hold me to that because now that I'm thinking about it more and more and when you have to buy that dirt and you have to carry the bag and it's spilling everywhere and you have to put it's just it's such a mess I honestly don't know who wants to deal with that um, but I certainly do not and it just kind of irritates me even thinking about it especially when I just have like this super clean lettuce you know uh, I've only fed these guys one time with some starter and some grow fertilizer um, really nice but look at this just beautiful pesticide free just just oh god they're glowing they're they're very nice and transparent a sense of good quality lettuce as you're looking at it through the light i mean just look at that look at the look at the design on that it's freaking magical look at the lifeline on this lettuce it's unbelievable wow that's some happy lettuce, okay? That's all I have to say. This is some happy lettuce. And it's, I'm just going to be super happy in a little bit uh, while I take it down. It's so interesting now that I look at it. And it, it proves my, it proves that the fact that the oxygen is such an important aspect of these. Look at these two, okay? Look at the difference of how big the overall grows are of each head as it's in development compared to these guys. For some reason, I probably I might have to switch out, and I'm even I've even reduced the amount of um, the amount of you see how you see how that's percolating. It's percolating pretty hard, right? Now, if you might have remembered a second ago, what did this look like? That's a fairly weak percolation right there. Okay, and the thing is, it's not always even inside the reservoir. And that's why you have smaller size heads just like this because they're not getting the oxygen that's necessary if you are putting a maximum amount of oxygen. I'll tell you, this one, it's interesting because look, this is the only one that I had to reduce. For some reason, it is getting the highest amount of oxygen being pumped through 
through the aerator stone and look at these I mean this one's kind of small it's really weird it actually needs to get a little closer to the surface there but the the oh yeah. the middle ones the middle ones are really the ones that capitalize I mean I'm telling you if you put two aerator stones I'm gonna do a test one of these days it's unfortunate that I might have to drill another hole in in one of my reservoirs you guys know how hard these uh, boxes are to get but there are new links down below for some new boxes um, put a new hole and do two aerator stones in comparison to one and the, the, e the evenly distributed amount of oxygen to the plants across one aerator stone would be significantly different. You could just tell because these things kind of like lay in the middle a little bit. They kind of like bend down. So a lot of times the middle lettuce, the entire middle compartments here are always vastly larger than the ones that are out on, on because if it slopes, these are higher up, in which case the aeration is hitting in the middle. But it's, it's not getting a ton of the oxygen that's distributing down here, up in here. So that's why these are a little smaller. It's really interesting. And uh, that's why I think more oxygen the better for these plants. But anyway, guys, I could rant about this on and on and on. I, hopefully I'll have some beautiful new colors. Maybe I'll get some like kales and um, collards or something. Just so we can have some like nicer colors in 2019. But listen, guys. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. If you want to grow like me, hit the links down below. They're literally right down below. Also, make sure to give me the thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. But I really want to wish you guys an all a happy new year, happy holidays, and a healthy and wealthy and a fantastic new year to come. I hope you all have beautiful grows, but more importantly, just health is the most important thing in life. So eat well, eat clean, and I'll see you guys in 2019. You guys have a fantastic one. Don't celebrate too hard tonight.